famous Bluebird radio was designed in 1935 by American industrial designer Walter Dovin Teague as part of a new Spartan line of glass mirror radios unveiled on September 18th the same year that also includes the nocturne and the sled. Taking pictures of those radios is challenging when trying to avoid reflections in their mirrors, but fun when trying the opposite. This is American Streamline Art Deco at its best by the Dean of Design who shared his passion for chromed trims with RCA's chief designer John Wassers. Speed lines or the front view of a triplane, you make your choice. In contemporary ads, the radio sits on a plateau matching the 14-inch diameter front mirror. This was an option for a small extra cost. The few plateaus sold and even fewer surviving are amazingly rare in decent condition, but fortunately the Bluebird is also abundantly available as a 1919's replica very worth buying. I sacrificed a 1997 Crossley CR37 to harvest its front mirror, which looks to be more expensive to make than the original, having eight holes instead of one. A perfect plateau, perfectly matching the midnight blue of the original and the radio perfectly concealing the holes, four of which are used to feed through four stilts to take the radio's weight off the mirror. We have here the very rare Spartan of Canada version, model 154B, that favorably differs from the US model 566. A larger cabinet accommodating a chassis with a life-saving insulating transformer and an unobstructed speaker on top, no curtain burner, power cord and ebonized wooden knobs matching the two ball feet. Even the dial is different, the Canadians showing a lovely little blue bird. The chassis was recapped where necessary, the tubes optimized and a 3.5 closed circuit phone plug installed. The radio had been a prop in at least two movies, the 1936 film Born to Dance with Virginia Bruce and James Stewart when she sings Under My Skin and the 1972 series Godfather 1 in a scene where Carlo Rizzi beats up his wife Connie Corleone, who demolishes a lot of dishes in China. The radio hopefully survived. The radio is not authentic, having the shape of the US model, but black Canadian knobs. Let's make the bluebird sing. Because if you walk on either side of 